in the last few years, smartphone cameras got to the point where you can shoot a short film or even a full feature film. What changed in the last year and why features found on Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus are game-changing when we talk about filming on smartphones when we want to achieve more cinematic videos. That's what I'm about to tell you. Hi, I'm Dan and you are watching Tech The Lead. I've spent the last years shooting on different cameras from DSLR and mirrorless to cinema cameras. I've colorized videos from cameras like Arial Alexa, RED to different phone cameras, so I think that they can point out some insights regarding image differences between them. This is not a full review, instead I will focus mostly on the video features found on this device because I really think that Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus brings some major shooting modes and styles that can upgrade the final look of the footage. The definition of cinematic has changed over the years. Most would now agree that a video with a cinematic look impresses viewers with lighting, camera movements, composition and color grading. So what did Honor do with its Magic 3 Pro Plus to help achieve this? They teamed up with DTS and IMAX in order to be the first to receive an IMAX Enhanced certification. I don't know about you guys, but I've been waiting for some time to be able to shoot with Blots in the native app. LUTs is short for lookup tables. In a simplified version, they are a type of color filters for video. Those are used extensively in movie production, but for them to be useful, you need as common practice 10-bit log images as the input to LUT. Log is a shooting profile that gives a wide dynamic range, it looks flat with little contrast and color that gives you more freedom when you color grade. This is key in creating the final look of the video and where Honor tuned the log file to a professional level. Now back to the part where I was telling you that you can use this phone to shoot with LUTs. The Hollywood-inspired looks were co-created by Honor, renowned cinematographer Suki Medencevic and colorist Brian McMahon. You know, real people from the Hollywood film industry and stuff, with IMDb accounts and very impressive filmography. Not to brag, I was very close to getting into the Hollywood movie industry, but due to a cop who was screaming, You're trespassing! Get off the property! I left. So, to shoot with LUTs, you need to enter movie mode. Unfortunately, this mode is exclusive to the main white camera. Each LUT can instantly give your video a different cinematic look. Some of them are too creative, so I've chosen the classic one for most of my shots, in this way I could judge the look when compared with the stock camera and even against the iPhone 13 Pro. The difference is quite big when comparing the stock video look with the ones found in movie mode. Over sharpening in stock video camera is bad just as bad as on the iPhone 13 Pro. This is a message to all brands, please stop doing this, this is the opposite of what cinematic is. Fortunately, in the movie mode, Honor fixed this, and the image doesn't have that terrible over-sharpening effect. Movie mode offers more details in the shadows, the gentle gamma curve, and what's more important, better skin tones. While shooting in this mode, leave the 4K HDR on, because I found out after reviewing the video files that the LUTs are designed for 10-bit footage, and the non-HDR, which are in 8-bit, will have bending ingredients. During one weekend, I went to a road trip to the mountains, to the Bran Castle, commonly known outside Transylvania as Dracula's Castle, so I took the opportunity to take some shots and put them in a short clip. All clips are shot in movie mode with a classic LUT in 4K HDR. You can skip it anytime you like, time codes are available in the description. After this I will evaluate the log profile and show you how much you can push the image with color grading. Luna.
inside the video mode and movie mode, we can also shoot in pro mode. Here are all the settings that iPhone users, myself included, are drooling after in the native app. In this mode, shooting in log profile can be enabled. This is the most common shooting profile in video and cinema digital cameras because it can retain the best colors and dynamic range that the digital sensor can provide. Honor manages to deliver a very strong 10-bit log profile, which can handle heavy color grading. Let's see some examples of what can be done with the footage shot in this flat mode. Just as in movie mode, the sharpening of the log profile is not crazy high. The bitrate is high enough to capture lots of data for better colors and again, I'm gonna repeat myself, better skin tones. Dynamic range is another key element in achieving cinematic footage. The higher, the better. In all video modes, Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus is overexposing and I was constantly adjusting the exposure. This is very important, by the way, because the highlights are clipped quite fast. The good news is that the shadow area has a lot of detail that is almost impossible to be clipped. Since the main sensor is a big one, the video stabilization is ok, but not great. Engineering-wise, it's a trade-off when you stabilize the lens instead of the sensor, and that's basically the drawback you have here. Overall, I'll say that it's good enough if you're not running. I was pleasantly surprised to see that the noise reduction is not that aggressive. Again, this is another aspect that video and cinema cameras don't try to eliminate completely. This is a clear choice made by engineers, probably against marketing people's wishes when tuning the look of the movie mode. With this approach, they managed to retain more color information and better texture in low to very low light scenes. I'm impressed. Probably the most important feature of a cinema camera is how it renders skin tones. For this reason, airy cameras are the most used in film productions. With movie mode, Honor took a huge leap this year in skin rendition. It ticks all the boxes, color, texture, no nasty over sharpening artifacts. In my opinion, this is by far the best upgrade in the image quality. There are two more features in this device that are pretty important. One is the display that has HDR10 Plus certification, DCI-P3 white color gamut with high color accuracy. This is not only ideal to evaluate the colors of what you're filming, but also to watch online content and movies from streaming platforms on a screen that has very accurate colors. Speaking of streaming platforms, I think the best part of this device is by far the audio. I was pleased with the sound coming off from the iPhone 13 Pro, then I got to hear what Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus sounds like. The range of the speakers found on Magic 3 Pro Plus is impressive, plus you know it's good for everything when there is DTS-X Ultra on board. So, 
In the end, I think it's clear that the IMAX Enhanced certification is not just a line from the marketing people. From the video acquisition to the view experience on accurate display and high quality audio, this Honor phone justifies the flagship status. What do you think? Are you excited about this kind of video features? Please let me know in the comments. At the end of the day, what's your top 3 most important things when buying a smartphone? If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like the video, click subscribe so you don't miss our future content. See ya!